Hey everybody, welcome to my next dish. Something we're making with chicken breast, teriyaki sauce, pineapple juice, and a whole host of vegetables. And these are the ingredients we're gonna be using today. And a secret ingredient to add a little bit of zest of a taste to it is sesame oil. Here are my four chicken breasts. As you can see, I've cut them into long strips. But we want bite-sized pieces. <laughs> And there we have a plate of bite-sized chicken breast. Now we're going to prepare our broccoli. <laughs> and there we have a beautiful bowl of broccoli florets ready to be cooked. Now for our baby carrots. And there we have a beautiful bowl of bite-sized baby carrots. I like using jasmine rice. Twice as much water as you do rice works out perfect every time. I work the rice and then I add the water. This gives it more of a grind. You can do it either way, whatever works best for you. I usually do three, four, five times. I do it until I feel like I've removed enough starch and I can proceed. And we're gonna fill this till it reaches the four cup point of water. The rice is clean. I'm putting in the rice. Locking it down. All I got to do is turn on the power. Tell it I want to cook white rice. And when it's blinking, it means it's starting. This spinner only tells you it's heating up. When it becomes numbers, it'll start to count down. And it'll beep when it is done. Now you can see I'm using my large cast iron pan. And I am also going to be using my large cast iron wok. Lodge does not pay me to tell you this. So I want you to know the reason I'm telling you this is because it's the best cast iron you can buy for your money. Before we begin, I'm going to be turning the heat on high. I want the entire skillet to get hot. The best way to check is to run your hand eight inches over the skillet. When you can feel the heat here, as hot as it's going to be there, it's time to start. Now, I'm not going to be using any kind of oils today because I don't want my chicken brown and crunchy. I want it cooked and to be a softer bite, to be softer with the dish. So, we're going to add a little bit of water to get it started when it's hot and the chicken will start cooking and releasing its own juices as it cooks. All right, it's been about five minutes. It's it was pretty hot. We're going to add just a cup of water to start. We're going to add some pineapple juice. All of our chicken at the same time. And we're going to stir it and let it cook. Now you'll notice I didn't add any salt, add any pepper. We're not going for that flavor here. We're going to have enough sodium in our teriyaki. Not as much sodium as we would have in soy sauce. But we're not looking for a salty, peppery flavor. We're looking for a chickeny, vegetable-y, ricey flavor. And we're going to let that cook now for about five minutes. Now you can see it's only been three minutes. It's very, very hot again. We're going for a nice, evenly cooked, tender, white chicken. Here we are again at three more minutes. I'd say the chicken's about 80% done. We're going to add our broccoli and our carrots. Remember, this is a chicken vegetable dish. Vegetables are good for you, they say. <laughs> now I'm going to stir this up. Once we've got everything in the water and everything wet, we're going to put a lid on. We didn't put a lid before because we wanted to let some of the water cook down and reduce. We're still leaving it on high. We've got a lid to start steaming our vegetables. We're going to give it a full five minutes this time. If yours is looking like this at two minutes, it's perfect. Now, here we are at three minutes. So you can monitor yours compared to mine. But at four minutes, mine started to boil over, so I turned it down to medium. Now, here we are at five minutes. It's starting to boil over again here and there, so we can actually turn it all the way down to low now and take the lid off. I have cold water running in the sink. Cold water is to prevent the pipes from being hurt by the hot water. You don't want to rinse your chicken. You just want that cold water to offset the temperature of the hot water you just poured in there. With our heat off, we're going to add some juices to the wok to begin with. We're going to add about a half a cup or a blurble of pineapple juice, maybe three quarters of a cup. It's a blurble. And we're going to start adding our teriyaki sauce. First, I'm going to use the remainder of a bottle I had, then three quarters of another bottle. This is also blurble. Blurble, blurble, blurble. Now we can turn that on to medium. We can add our entire chicken mixture slowly. And we're going to let this get warm before we add any other vegetables. Once your mixture is in, get it stirred up. Get everything into the juice. Get everything into the teriyaki sauce, the pineapple juice, 
you want everything cooking together. Now remember, we started this in a cold pan or a room temperature pan. That's going to take about five minutes to get hot, but everything's slowly raising in temperature at the same time that the juice is. Our timing at this point couldn't be any better. We only have eight minutes left on the rice. With a dish like this, timing can be kind of important. Uh, it can also not be, depending on how perfect you want it to be in your own mind. Not everything is ever always going to finish at the same exact time. I got lucky today. Everything worked out exact. Timing isn't as important as you think. It's only as important as you make it. Since a wok is cooked open on the top, it doesn't heat as fast as a pan might that has a lid. So to help speed things along, we can put this lid and just cover the product a little bit. It doesn't have to cover the whole pan. Now we let it cook for five minutes on medium. I've turned the heat up to high. We're going to give it five more minutes and then we can add the bamboo shoots and the corn and we'll be good to go. All right, if you look closely, you can see now it's starting to bubble around the outside edges. So we're at a perfect point to take our lid off. Always tilt your lid sideways. Let the water run off. There is our timer for our rice. It is done. And at this point, what we're going to do is stir what we have. Oh, it smells delicious. And we're going to taste it. Oh, that's delicious. It's hot. There's something missing. Our sesame seed oil. There it is. There is that little bit of sesame oil taste. Oh, that is delicious. Let's add the rest of our vegetables now. You can see that it's boiling. So we're going to put just everything in all at once. And we're not going to turn the heat down until we have everything mixed together. We've got everything in there. Everything's mixed. We're going to turn our heat down to medium. And we're going to wait four minutes. Get some rice. Get some mix. Get some oranges on it. And eat it. And there we are. It's done. It's delicious. Oh, it looks so good. Let's get a bite of it. Oh my gosh, that is so good. Okay, a little more juice to mine. A little more broth. Man, is it good. It's done. It's perfect. It's delicious. Let me know what you think. At this point, I'm just going to ask you, please tell your friends. If you don't have any friends, tell the people you know. Follow me anywhere you can. I'm on Instagram. I'm on X. On YouTube. You can find me at chefkendad.com, chefkendad.info. And for those of you who are new, I teach the small humans at a place called outschool.com. If you have a small all human between 6 and 18. If you've never been on out school before, you can get your first class free by using the code ChefKenDad20. It's case sensitive. So use ChefKenDad20 at outschool.com. It's your first class free. You can have them do it with me. Any class on out school. That works on any class. So enjoy. Let me know how I'm doing. Go eat. Take care, folks. Now it's time to open our cans of vegetables that we're putting in.